Hey guys, uh, my name is David Lim. I'm the Technical Marketing Engineer for the Network Software and Systems Technology Group. Today I'm going to be introducing to you uh, to one portion of MediaNet called Auto Provisioning. So what's Auto Provisioning? Uh, basically in a nutshell, it's basically the capability of your network to recognize different types of devices that are connected to, uh, to your switch. So what I have here is a Catalyst 3560 that's been uh, configured um, to support CDP enabled devices as well as non-CDP enabled devices. And what we're going to do is basically have the switch uh, apply it several templates which are pre-configurations uh, under the port interfaces and recognize uh, the type of device that's plugged into the switch. So for example, if you have an IP phone, an uh, IP surveillance camera, an uh, access point, router or switch, you can actually have the, the switch automatically uh, configure the appropriate best practices of, uh, to that port. So what I'm going to do here now is plug in the, uh, and I, actually before I do that, let me quickly show you the uh, configuration of the ports on the switch. And you probably can't see this, but basically you'll see that there's basically nothing under this particular interface. And it, likewise, uh, all the switches basically don't have anything. But we have our set of macros that are pre-configured to recognize via uh, CDP um, what's connected. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in this IP phone to port 1. And we're going to give it a couple of uh, seconds here for it to detect the phone. So it's going through the initialization state. Uh, the link protocol is coming up. It's recognized through CDP that this is an IP phone. And I'm going to go under this interface, which, had, which uh, originally had nothing configured under it. And now what you'll see is that we've applied all the appropriate uh, switch ports command. Um, now let's say you have a device that doesn't support CDP. Uh, we, you can actually create customized macros in order to apply the appropriate um, scripts or configurations you want. So the next step I'm going to do here is I have a DMP, or a digital media player. I'm going to go ahead and power this guy on. And he's connected to port, uh, port 8 on this switch. I'm going to wait for this guy to come up, give it a couple of seconds. And this will also should auto-detect uh, auto uh, this device. All right, so it looks like we're there. And again, you probably can't see this. This is all the authentication that's going on. And there we go. So in a nutshell, the uh, benefits of auto-provisioning is basically it provides a more consistent way to apply well-known configurations to devices in your network uh, without manual intervention, eliminating human error. So that's auto-provisioning for MediaNet. Uh, thanks a lot.